Welcome to Buff Zone. My name is Kyle Ringo. This is Neil Welk. We cover the University of Colorado football team for the Daily Camera newspaper. The Buffs are coming off a huge win against Kansas last week, and this week they get the second half of the Sunflower State double-double, uh, so to speak, with a trip to Kansas State. Neil, you always like those trips to Kansas State when you used to make them, huh? Kyle, as they say, there's nothing better than Manhattan, Kansas in your rearview mirror. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> At any rate, yes, this is this is a this is a big week for them. I, like you said, they came off a big big win over Kansas, number 17 team in the nation. Defense played well despite what the numbers are going to say. 400 yards passing to to uh, Todd Reesing. Defense played well for the uh, for the better part of that game. Came up with the game saving. You know, stop down in the end zone. Offense played well with Tyler Hansen at, at uh, quarterback. So there's kind of a, a feeling of rejuvenation about this program, I think, right now, and, and this becomes a big game for the Buffs. Isn't it weird how one game, you know, one four-hour span on a Saturday afternoon in the fall can, can change things so dramatically? I mean, you went into that game, and there were so many question marks. There was a, sort of a sour feeling around the program. and A lot people, of negativity. Right. People just kind of wondering, you know, where this thing was going and if – you know, these coaches were the right coaches, and, you know, if, if they had recruited the right players, all these things were kind of up in the air, and then suddenly, you know, they go out and they beat Kansas, they have a new quarterback, and everything's magically, you know, back to, you know, optimism and, and feeling like, you know, there's a, there's a chance. Well, I think, you know, you said it's more than just the win. Definitely, they beat the number 17 team in the nation, but the way that they won and the fact that there is a new quarterback, I think that adds to the feeling of, of rejuvenation and the feeling of optimism that wasn't there even a week ago because I think people now are looking at this team and seeing a lot more possibilities from this team than they saw, you know, even after the Texas game. So I think, I think the combination of those things are making people say, hey, you know what, there's still a shot with this program. And Dan Hawkins said it in his press conference on Tuesday this week. Dan Hawkins said, you know, it was a case of, you know, a week ago it was, it was the end of the world, it's a disastrous season, and now, holy smokes, all of a sudden we're supposed to win the Big 12 North. And I'm quoting Hawkins here. So I think, you know, when he says – Keep it a little bit in the middle. I think that's probably some decent advice here. So what were your impressions of uh, watching Tyler Hansen run around out there, make plays and, and you know, extend plays and find receivers or, or get first downs with his, with his feet? The, f the first thing that I thought of was that Tyler Hansen is vastly improved over the Tyler Hansen we saw a year ago. The people who saw Tyler Hansen a year ago saw a kid that, that you could see that he had some legs, but he had no idea what to do in that offense. He didn't know, he didn't know the difference between buying time and just tucking tail and running, and this year he does. There were a couple times that he just decided to head up field and he made some nice gains, but this year he also knows how to buy time and he keeps his, his head looking downfield, and I think that was the huge difference was watching Tyler Hansen as he's running around back there keeping his head up and looking downfield at his receivers, pointing to them and saying this way, this way, or this way, and kind of directing traffic, and that was the biggest difference. Yeah, he definitely has some poise to him. It'll be interesting to see, you know, how he grows with that uh, over the course of the season, the course of his career. Uh, he gets his first road game as a starter this year. He, uh, he started at Missouri last year and played quite a bit at Texas A&M as well. So it won't be a brand new experience for him this week at Kansas State, but it, in terms of this year, it, uh, it'll be new. And uh, the Buffs will be trying to win for the first time on the road since this week, uh, two years ago. In 2007, they went on the road. Uh, in late October and beat Texas Tech in Lubbock. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, the Buffs need, that's sort of the next step in my mind for this team. If they are going to be, you know, serious contenders for the Big 12 North, which is still a realistic possibility given the state of the Big 12 North, uh, they have to win a road game, and winning a road game against a fellow Big 12 North team would, would help their cause. And, and, and when you're talking about this game on the road this week, I'm really interested to see how Hanson reacts because what I noticed last weekend during the Kansas game as I was watching him on the sidelines, how the players reacted to him. A year ago, it was almost as, hey, the kid, look who this kid is. You know, let's all prop him up. Let's, you know, help him along. And there was a different, uh, uh, almost a, a different chemistry on the sidelines as I was watching the binoculars. He was walking up to guys and pointing things out to him and already saying, hey, let's do this. And you could see he was patting him on the back. And they were congratulating him, but he was also 
he had assumed a, a leadership role that was definitely not there a year ago. And so I think if that manifests itself this weekend at K-State, that's another big step for him. Yeah, it's kind of hard for a kid to to come off the bench as a true freshman. He's barely been in the program really for, you know, he's got some summertime work under his belt, fall camp. And and Tyler, before he got called off the bench last year, he, he had been working on the scout team. So <laughs> it's kind of hard for a guy to, to instantly come in from, from that situation, that level of experience and assume sort of a leadership role. I think you're exactly right. I mean, he does now have more comfortable, he's more comfortable in his skin out there mm -hmm. and, and guys know what to expect from him and he knows what they're capable of and, and it's just a, it's a better situation this time than it was last year. Yeah, there's certainly a level of respect and you could just see it from the linemen, the receivers, running backs, even the defensive guys that were coming up and talk to, talking to him. There was a level of respect there that you didn't see a year ago and so... This is a big, you know, if, if Colorado comes out, plays well this weekend and beats Kansas State, you know, I, I still don't know who the best team in the Big 12 North is, and I'm certainly not going to say it's Colorado, but I won't say it's not Colorado given the fact that, you know, Nebraska can't score on anybody. Missouri has certainly proved to be susceptible. Uh, Kansas, Colorado won, and so Colorado beat Kansas, so I don't know who the big best team is in the North. You know, I think if you took this collection of teams with this – amount of experience right now and at this point in time in their development these six teams if these six teams played this season you know 10 times over you, you know you might, you might have six different teams win it in the mm -hmm. course of those 10 years but uh you know and that brings us to kansas state this week i'm not sure what to expect from kansas state this is a team that you know got drilled by Texas Tech two weeks ago and then turned around and, and just totally hammered Texas Just lit a &M. up a &M. Uh, You know, the, those two scores were so dramatically different. I, I think they lost 62-14 to 14 two weeks ago and then turned around and win 66-14 to 14 last week. So, I, I mean, if that's not a Jekyll and Hyde act, I don't know what is, and, and I don't really know what to expect from the, from the Wildcats on Saturday. 